Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the workshop. We're gonna make something today. Now in the past, I've done several different videos about making you know, DIY string instruments, diddly bows and cigar box guitars and things like that. And I've gotten a lot of good comments on those, on those videos. I really appreciate it. It seems that people really like them. But I've also occasionally gotten something where someone has said, you know, I don't have all those fancy tools. I don't have the drill press. I don't have the power sander. I don't have all that, but I still want to make something like this. Can I do it with, you know, without the fancy tools? And you can, and that's what I'm gonna to do today. I'm gonna to build a diddly bow, a cigar box diddly bow using minimal tools. In fact, I'll show you what I'm gonna use. So here you go. This should be the only hand tools that I'm gonna to use today. I've got a rasp here. You know, this is just your basic rasp. I've got a circular file here. I might not need both of these, but chances are I'm probably gonna need, need them, so I'll have those. And then I've just got a little handsaw here, and this is nothing special, but that's basically, that's basically the majority of the tools I'm gonna be using today to make this build. In addition, you are gonna need a drill, but just a hand drill, not a drill press or anything like that. And I'm just using a standard set of drill bits here. This is nothing special. I'm not using any crazy hole saws or stepped bits or anything like that. Just using a basic set of drill bits and a hand drill today. And then of course, you are gonna need something to measure with and something to use as a straight edge. Um, probably gonna need that anytime you do a project. And as far as parts that we're gonna use today, we're gonna need a cigar box, obviously. I recommend you get a cigar box like this that's kind of a shallower cigar box that's you know maybe about this size and shape. Um, more or less any cigar box will work, but this is gonna be ideal that you want one like this where the lid kind of goes down like this. You don't want one where the whole top folds up. I mean, you can do that, but if you're gonna follow today's instructions, you're gonna want one that's kind of like this. And then you need a piece of square dowel. This is a piece of three quarter inch square dowel, three foot pre-cut length. You can get these at Lowe's, Home Depot, anywhere like that. But that should be basically the only parts that I'm gonna need to make the body and the neck. And then you'll need a couple other things. You will need a guitar tuner, um, you know, with its bushing and everything like that. You're also gonna need a guitar string. This one happens to be a 46 gauge, but it doesn't really matter. It could be a 10 gauge, it could be a 26 gauge, it could be a 50 gauge. And the other thing you're gonna need is a couple of nuts and bolts. These are gonna use, you're gonna use these to make your uh, saddle and your nut. And um, you can see on these both, these are both the same, but they don't necessarily need to be. Um, these are about the same size and they both have, have nuts and washers that fit as well. And then you might want a couple of small wood screws. These are kind of optional, but some people like to use these to hold the box shut. Um, the pressure of the string will hold the box shut on its own, but not a bad idea to have a couple of these on hand. So a couple small screws. That should be all you need. Minimal tools, minimal time. Let's build a diddly bow. Okay, the first thing we are gonna do here is take our square dowel and we're gonna trim about five inches off of one end. So I'll just set this here and I'll grab my tape measure. I'll measure back five inches and make a mark, there we go. Okay, so there we go, set that to the side. This is gonna end up being our neck, but I'm just gonna set it to the side for now. With this particular box, the box is oh, about an inch and a quarter is about right for this one. Okay, so what I did here is I just cut it into five one inch pieces so there you go but what you want to do now um, is grab your box open it and then what we're going to want to do is put these four little pieces in the corner so that's why i say to measure the depth of your box just some ordinary wood glue should work if you don't have wood glue on hand the ordinary white elmer school glue will also work great for this so what you want to do there is go ahead and put some glue on three sides and just push it into the corner. I wouldn't even be too, you know, if you get a little squeeze out around there, no big deal, right? Just that's what you're trying to do. Okay, so after we get all four of them in there, we kind of push them into the corners good. You can kind of soak up a little bit of extra glue if there's any squeeze out here. Okay, and while that's drying, I'm gonna go back to the neck here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to one end of the neck we're gonna measure in two inches and we're gonna make a mark. Then we're gonna measure down a quarter of an inch and we're gonna make a mark. And then we're gonna measure down on this end a quarter of an inch and we're gonna make a mark there too. If I can see it, there we go. And make a mark there. Okay, and then we're gonna do this just like that and like that. Okay, 
and that's what we want to remove okay so after you do that little piece should drop out like this and there you go now you can see it's not perfectly straight and that's fine it won't be well maybe it will be if you're really good but you can see it's not quite perfectly straight but that is okay and that is what your rasp here is for it now i can take and just sort of flatten this out with the rasp here okay so we grab our tuner and kind of just look where it's going to go so it'll be like this so we can kind of get a rough idea of where we want that and I would say something like that. We probably don't want it too far forward. We definitely don't want it too far back. So maybe somewhere in the middle here looks pretty good. So that's gonna be about where we're gonna to want to drill our hole. Now, remember what I said with these files here, you can see the holes are not quite perfectly clean. So that's where you can take your file and sort of clean up this hole. So it doesn't take you too long, just kind of and after we sort of file that hole out a little bit the tuner should fit nicely it's fairly snug but there we go so as you can see that looks pretty good and mark where that little hole is right there because you're going to drill a small hole right there the next thing we want to do is we want to measure back about a half an inch from where our little cut ends here kind of measure from the center go back what i like to do is I just like to kind of go here and eyeball it and I don't do really, you know, not really that precision because the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this file and I'm gonna use this file to cut the nut groove and this file is perfectly straight. Okay, so after we file that a little bit, it should look something like that. Uh, just kind of has a little gap there. And then we wanna grab our bolt here and we can actually take the uh, nut off of this along with the washer. And we wanna make sure that this fits in there. Oops, like that. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now we can see this is a little longer than it needs to be. And we can cut that off with a hacksaw or we can just leave it. It's not gonna hurt anything to leave it. Or if we wanna make it look a little dressier, we can just do this and put the bolt right on there like that, or excuse me, the nut right on there like that. And that will also work. Okay, so you can flip it around you can measure in about three quarters of an inch which is going to put you about here and again i just kind of want to find the center here so i'm going to just kind of eyeball that and then measure in about three eighths and that would make our center right about there and that's where i'm going to want to drill my hole Okay, so now we wanna grab our box and hopefully these are dry or close to it by now. But what we wanna do, first thing we wanna do is find the center of the box. So we're gonna take our ruler again and we're gonna measure the width of this box. So this box is about six and an eighth. So I'm gonna go over here to about three and a sixteenth and make a mark. And then I'm gonna do the same thing down here. So now at this point, I should be able to lay this across here and you can just do an eyeball check. It should look like it divides the box in half. But now what we wanna do is we wanna notch it so our neck can drop in there. So remember our neck is three quarters of an inch wide. So what we need to do is we need to put that line on the three eighths inch mark like that. And then we mark the zero mark here and the three quarter mark here. We've got two cuts. So what we wanna do is we want to open the lid and then we want to cut here and here and here and here but the point is so now i have to come over here and i have to measure down approximately three quarters of an inch and i should be able to come back and draw a line connecting those two and that little square there this piece is what i want to cut out Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now you can see we've got four cuts, two on each end. And the next thing is we gotta pop 
these little pieces out here because remember we want the neck to drop in there. Now that looks like it might be a little bit tricky, right? Because how do I cut that across there? What I like to do is just use a cheap utility knife like this. This one, literally, I got it at a hardware store for 25 cents, all right? I like to do that and then come up here and line up with your line here and just come straight across between your two points. And don't go too deep. You can just do this multiple times. Obviously, be careful not to cut yourself when you're doing something like this. After you get it started, you usually can take away the ruler because now you've got a nice straight line to follow. Just keep going. Okay, so let's just see. You don't do a lot of pressure, but if you just put a little bit of pressure here, see how it just snaps and it snaps clean. There you go. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. There we go. All right. So now you should have something kind of like this. Now, at this point, you might have kind of rough edges from where that broke. So this is a great time to take your file and smooth out any of those rough edges. So the one other thing, so basically at this point, we're effectively done with the neck and then now we're effectively done with the box as well. But one other thing we need to do is we need to do a sound hole so we can let that sound out. You can do whatever you want here for the sound hole, but what I am going to do is I'm just gonna drill like a, since the biggest bit I have in this set is a half inch, I'm gonna drill a half inch hole. And then next to it, I'm gonna drill a 3 8 inch hole. And next to that, I'm gonna drill a 5 16 inch hole. So it just looks like they're getting smaller. And I can probably do that at both ends. So to do that, I'm just gonna take my ruler here. Okay, so there we go, there's our holes, and I guess the next step is to grab our neck and see if it fits in this slot we made. Perfect, so you can see the neck drops in there just perfect. However, the box does not shut because the neck is in there. So first things first, we need to get this in the right spot. So what we wanna do here is we wanna slide this out so that the butt end here has got about an inch and three quarters out the back, right about there, okay? And then, what we want to do is we want to hold the neck there, flip this open, and we want to mark where the box ends. The easiest way to do that might be to use a ruler here. And we want to mark where the box ends, so like that. And then on this side, like that. We want to just cut a little chunk out there, so we want to kind of do this. I'm just going to eyeball this real quick. Um, because getting you the general idea. So we wanna do something like this and we wanna just cut that chunk out so that it drops right in. I go ahead and do this with the, uh, with the saw, just make a, a little notch there. Okay, so I do that and then that gives me sort of a start and an end point. Okay, like that. And then I just use the rasp here and I just start rasping it out. Now this takes a while. Like I said, some people might have a better way to do it, but this is how I do it. So I start rasping it here until I get it down pretty close to the line. So that looks pretty good. So you can see the box shuts all the way and we've got this nice little groove in there and that's what we want. Okay, so remember when we started off this video, I said you could optionally have a couple screws to screw the top down. So we'll do that now. 
Okay, so with our final assembly, our first step is to drop the neck into the body there. And remember, this shuts, and so we can screw that shut. So the next step is to put the string on, and the only two parts that you should have remaining should be your string and then the bolt you're gonna use for your bridge. And we're gonna go ahead and put the string on first. So what I like to do here, take your string, thread it up through that hole that you drilled back here, okay? Pull it all the way up like that. And then feed this up, go across your, your uh, bolt here for the nut, so you get your string on there and you can start to take out some of the tension. Now I realize you haven't put in the other screw yet, but that's okay. I like to take a little bit of this tension out to where you've got, you know, just a little bit like that and then grab your bolt and slide your bolt under there. Let's go ahead and take our tape measure. And I like to have about two feet, about 24 inches between the two bolts. So I need to slide that one up just a little bit right about there. That is about 24 inches on the nose. So you should have something like this. Let's go inside, tune this baby up and see how it sounds. Now, I don't use a real, um, you know, high tech process for this. I just kind of pluck it and turn it. And I just feel for a tension that feels about right. That's pretty close, feels pretty good. Then I get out my tuner here clamp it on and let's see where I'm at. It's a little bit sharp of an E flat. So I'm gonna guess we wanna go up to an E. So let's go up to an E. So there we go. That's an E and that feels pretty good. So we need a couple things to get started here. We need a slide. This particular slide is made from a wine bottle, but you know, any slide will do. Put that on your finger and then you need a pick. And again, this is a fairly heavy pick, but any pick will do. And then, Nice thing about a diddly bow is you don't even really, honestly, you don't even need the slide. You can just play one note on it and do some fun stuff like just go. So all I'm doing is I'm just muting the string in between there. So you got your muted and your unmuted. And you can do all kinds of rhythms like that. But you can also add your slide, and start adding notes. There you go. If you like what I do on this channel, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys soon.